For those on the journey to self-realization, this video can be powerful if you allow it. Before I delve into it, I want to say that I believe pointing very directly to what you are will benefit. Those who are truly ready to step into this new way of experiencing life, it would be a disservice to you all if I continued to teach the way I have been teaching because I feel like that way of teaching still makes people believe they have to wait for something to do emotional work or see a certain pattern in the mind first to know their nature. And that's just not true. Yes, there are energetic blockages, and I'm not denying that. Emotional work and shadow work are amazing and highly recommended because this is energetic. However, it's not needed to recognize what you are in this moment. You can know your nature first, and then this will make emotional work so much easier to work with. Instead of starting from the beginning, you start from the end. You start from being consciousness, and then take care of whatever needs to be taken care of energetically. What you are as this one and only consciousness is here already, regardless of what appears to be in the way. I want to attempt to cut down or completely cut away any kind of seeking for you to completely let go of that energy of I need to find something because there truly is nothing to look for. I hope I can trigger as many egos as possible because it's needed. This waiting game to realize yourself as everything is simply coming from a belief that you aren't worthy of being Christ consciousness right now. Something within the body-mind is refusing it. There is most likely an addiction to being small. You may actually fear being this like that you are. Maybe it comes from believing that you need to do something to be, to be love, to be one with everything. Maybe you feel guilty about something, so you don't feel like you deserve it. It's all limitations of the mind. Knowing what you are doesn't take time because time doesn't exist. I try my best to not make any of this confusing from here on out because I did watch a couple of videos and can clearly see how certain concepts can be confusing. If I just say it directly as possible for what it is, there will be no space for confusion. It's either you accept the truth of what you are right now, or you wait and wait and wait to find some concept or practice that will help you realize what's already here right now. It really is about the willingness to accept your power now. The belief that you have to wait to be what you are is just a belief. And it's not even you that believes because there is no you here to believe anything. If you are what you are as this formless, boundless, spaciousness consciousness, then how could there be a separate you? Also, if you are everything, then how could you be this one separate person? Also, a separate self cannot exist if you exist. A lie cannot exist in truth. So even if you don't believe something or even if you do believe something, the one who claims to have this belief doesn't even exist. Where is this me that believes? You can't look for the answer by thinking about it because the one that believes is a thought. It's a concept. If you're trying to realize that who you think you are is just a thought, you can't depend on thoughts to help you realize that. You have to look from somewhere else. If this separate you is just a thought, what is aware of it? Look from that which is effortlessly aware of it. When I say look, I don't mean run to mind and look through the filter of the mind. I mean, check in your direct experience for a separate me. If you are awareness, and you are, you cannot be what you are aware of. And what you are aware of can't actually exist because this awareness that you are is everything. 
This simple awareness is everything. What you are aware of is simply an appearance in the dream of awareness. Life is literally a dream. It's a dream, none of this is real, but we have this attachment to it. As if waking up to it would completely destroy the joy in life. And that's such a false narrative that the ego creates. It's only doing that because that's a way for it to defend itself from dying. It's afraid of not existing, and because you may identify it with this ego, you believe you are the one afraid of not existing. But this ego-created character already doesn't exist. It's not real already. Yes, you exist, but you don't exist as a body, as a man as a female, as a thought. You exist as existence itself in this very moment. That is the truth of your nature. And don't believe me because you can't. You can only be aware of the idea of believing something. You don't believe anything. You don't have opinions of anything. You don't label things good and bad. You don't have an idea of how things should be or how things should feel. None of that is you. You aren't confused. You're aware of the confusion. You aren't seeking. You're aware of the seeking. You aren't thinking. Thoughts are just happening. And they're happening to no one. With all this being said, this channel will be taking a new approach at pointing to what we all are as one. Because what's the point of providing all of these practices as if they will get you closer to being what you already are? Can they be beneficial? Of course, I'm not saying they can't be. But I am saying that what you are is here and has always been here, regardless of what practices you do. This takes no time because time doesn't exist. Right now is the only experience that can be experienced. You will never awaken in the future. It can only happen now. You will never get there one day because the day it happens will be in the now. You will never be enlightened one day because what you are is already enlightened. So let's stop focusing so much on what you have to do to get there as if there is somewhere to go or something to do to be what you already are. You don't have to do anything to be. Let's begin to focus on simply realizing that you are God right now. Accept what you are in this moment. And just notice that there are things that are appearing to be in the way. That which is aware of these appearances is what you are looking for. But realize how you can't find that because it's that which is looking. Things are appearing to be in the way, which means they aren't actually in the way. No thought is in the way. No emotion is in the way because what you are isn't an emotion. It's not a feeling in the body. It's not a thought. And it's not waiting for something to go away to be what it already is. This journey to self-realization isn't even a journey that you were on. Because what you are has been aware of this journey that the false self has been claiming to be on this whole time. There isn't anyone here to be on a journey. And if I'm triggering a lot of egos teaching this way moving forward, great. You don't even exist. Come home, let go of trying so much. You're already here. It's so simple. This spiritual community has made something so simple sound so impossible to realize. And I can say I've done so in the past simply because I thought certain concepts that I've learned from other teachers would be insightful for others. In all honesty, they can make this simple instead of making it sound so complicated and psychedelic. But I promise you, what you are is so simple. This may not be easy, but that's only if you believe that. That's only if you accept that it's hard to realize what's already here.
Yes, it is peaceful. Yes, it is love. Yes, it is all there is. Yes, it is untouchable. Yes, it is freedom. Yes, it is everything. Everyone is saying it is, but what it's not is some super magical experience that the mind has created it to be. It's not this super blissful state that you will be in for the rest of your experience. That's just not true at all. Sadness can still rise, anger, everything and anything can still rise. It's just that you no longer identify with what rises and you actually find joy in playing this game of life as a human. Humans experience emotions and nature is enjoying playing the role as a bird fully. Consciousness can enjoy the human experience if you allow life to flow through. There is a free and authentic expression of life here. You don't have to be a monk. You don't have to be a teacher of consciousness. You can enjoy life in any way you want. It's a dream. It's your dream. If you are coming from this natural place of unconditional love, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as it's coming from here. Do not allow the spiritual community to place limitations on how you should be. You are free to be you. You are completely free. Come home. You've been standing, looking out the window, thinking you are at home. You never left, you never left heaven. Just turn around and realize you've been on the inside looking out. You're not even of this world. The world is within you. All of this is you. Nothing is outside of you. No power is above you. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing has ever happened to you because you're not here as a body. You are here as presence itself. You are life itself.